morning. It's cold. I have three main goals for this YouTube channel. One is connect with awesome, new, like-minded people. Two, sharing my adventures with you guys and sharing my stories. And three, being a helping hand. I love to teach and I love to guide. So if I can help someone along the way, mission complete. Here's the biggest thing. Why I'm excited to be here, excited to guide, nowhere near an expert, but I'm hungry to get there and I'm ready to learn and be a helping hand. Just so you know, this is what I'm vlogging on. It is a Canon EOS R mirrorless uh, with a Rode mic. We're back at the shop. This morning glassing session went awesome. Saw some really nice animals running around. This winter storm's definitely moving them, um, which is good. We needed the moisture here in Montana. Um, and now the, the mission for the rest of the day is meeting these hunters, getting their rifles dialed in, getting them confident and comfortable with their shot, um, understanding how far we can go with these hunters, their shooting ability. You know, are we limited to 200 yards? Can we go up to four or 500 yards? Those are the things that we're trying to learn um, and obviously just get to know them a little better, understand what they want out of this hunt so we can make the best game plan possible for them. In the, in the red? No, it is. Huh? Yeah, it is, but on this next one, aim at the top left, diamond. And then finally 500 yards, 39.2 divided by five, 7.84. So we'll say 7.75. So that would be right there. Correct. Now, I'm going to tell you, don't, if you don't want to listen to it, you don't have to because it doesn't apply to your scope or your rifle. Minutes of angle is one way of doing it, and then there's mils. So if you ever hear someone say, come up six mils, that doesn't apply to you. That's completely different. I do minutes of angle. Yep, minutes of angle, not mils. Yep. Okay, now I've got another question. Yes, sir. This, right, this deal right uh -huh. here. How do you handle this? So you set it on whatever yardage you're shooting at. All okay. that is is your parallax and the example that most people use and it's kind of the best way to explain it is, you know how if you're sitting in a truck and you're looking at the person's speedometer, it looks like you're actually going slower than looking at it straight on? It's because your angle is different. So that is basically focusing that at the distance. It's basically turning that, how that speedometer, because if you're looking at it from such a steep is angle. Is that going side to side? Yes. Okay. Yep. Side to side. So Can you tell if it's a buck or not? I think he's got some little horns. That cow elk is just hanging right up above him. All right, I wasn't going crazy. Yeah. Well, interesting. 